There are many resources of interest on the Moon. We can use the oxygen and metals that are present in the dust that coats the surface of the Moon. And we're also interested in the water ice that's present in the permanently shadowed regions. This is important because we can use these resources to support human life. We can use it for rocket propellant, and this will allow us to support a future of sustainable space exploration. So M2 will be going to a really exciting location on the Moon known as the Mare Fagoras, which is located in the northern hemisphere on the near side of the Moon, which is the side of the Moon that is always facing us. During our mission, um, we are hoping to encounter a range of really interesting geologic uh, features. And in particular, with our tenacious rover, um, we will be exploring um, the lunar regolith, um, which is the soil-like material that covers the lunar surface. Understanding the characteristics of this material will help us not only understand the geology of the moon, um, but also help us with the design of our future rovers um, and technologies for resource utilisation. There's a lot that we need to do in order to be able to use these resources that we find in space. We need to understand the resources, their distribution and composition. We need to develop the technologies that will allow us to use these resources in space. And we need to do this in a way that is both sustainable and responsible. So our landing site for Mission 2 was not only selected for its scientific uh, value, but also uh, with operational safety in mind. So our landing site um, has a very flat terrain without extremes in elevation change or large impact craters, which would pose a risk um, both to our lander during the landing process and for our rover as it explores the lunar surface. Um, additionally, this region um, has uh, optimal environmental conditions like temperature and sunlight, um, which will help us achieve our mission objectives. The M2 mission is enormously exciting for those of us who work in space resources here in Luxembourg. It will allow us to understand how the regolith behaves when it is scooped and handled. And this is critical information to develop technologies for future space missions. During our mission, the Tenacious rover may encounter an array of features that may pose a hazard to our rover uh, movement. So things like steep slopes, uh, or highly uh, fluffy or compacted material, or perhaps some other features like small craters and boulders. Uh, however, these features represent a really important characteristics for us to evaluate during our rover mission. Um, and our rover was designed with these operational conditions in mind. Um, by exploring these features, we can gain a better understanding of the moon and design of our technologies for future missions.